Hi, this is Ryan from Masuva, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to add e-commerce to your Concrete 5 5.7 site in under 10 minutes using Snipcart and our e-commerce with Snipcart add-on. First of all, let me introduce Snipcart. Snipcart is an e-commerce service that provides a shopping cart and checkout service. It handles taking payments using providers such as Stripe and PayPal, handles things like discounts and a range of e-commerce functionality. On top of that, Snipcart only charges a fee when transactions are actually made, so there are no setup or monthly fees. The idea of Snipcart is that it can be added to any website by simply adding a couple of scripts and a little bit of markup to enable some add to cart buttons. With this setup, it's your site itself that defines the products. Snipcart is only there to actually process orders. So this is a great fit for Concrete 5.7 as we can actually use Concrete's range of features to create category pages, things like product details, while Snipcart can be used to handle all the complexities of the checkout itself. So this is where our add-on comes into play. Our add-on makes it easy to enable Snipcart, but also provides configurable cart and product blocks so you don't have to touch any code. That's the whole idea of this add-on. So this is how easy it is. So I've got Snipcart here and I've got a very vanilla 5.5 install. I've taken basically all the content out and I'm going to make a pet supplies online shop. So let's quickly add the add-on. And you might install this from the marketplace, but I'll just install it via the dashboard here. As soon as we install that, we now have a Snipcart option on the dashboard. I'm going to head into that and we'll see we've got a Snipcart dashboard button there. I'm going to click that now and I'm going to log into the back end of Snipcart. Now I'm making the assumption here that you've already registered for Snipcart. This only takes a few minutes. Uh, it's a very easy process. Once you've logged in, we just need to check a few things. First thing we need to check is that we are in test mode. There's a live and a test mode and for now we want to be in the test mode. Next thing we want to do is we want to go down to the settings and we want to make sure that our web do website domain name entered here matches the address that we're actually running the shop on. And I've entered this earlier. If we're going to be supplying products that need to be shipped, we do need to enable carriers. We need to enable carriers here and pick one of the options or in my case, I've done a fixed price for delivery and I've saved that here. The last thing we need to do is we need to go to the account option and we need to grab the API key and this is the testing API key here and I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. Now if I go back to Snipcart, find there's a spot in the configuration here for me to paste that in. I need to make sure that the shop is in testing mode and I'm going to save the page here. Once that's done, I can actually start adding some blocks to my pages. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Snipcart cart block and it's this yellow one here and I'm going to add this up to this side of the page. I'm going to leave the, um, the options pretty much the default here and we've got a, a, a button there now. So I'm going to save this. Now by default it's going to spit out some very plain styling um, but we can use Concrete's styling features and design features just to tidy this up a bit so we'll do this now. So let me align this to the right and I'll add a little bit of spacing at the top. And that sits nicely there. Okay, so we've done that. We've got our checkout ready to go. Next thing we'll do is we'll add a product in. So I'm gonna add my first product. And here we have a product block. We have lots of options here, but basically it's a case of just filling out the, the main main fields and uh, exploring the, the others at a later time. So I'm going to add some um, some cat food and so I'm going to put in a product code and I believe that we have some meow mix. So I'm going to say meow mix one kilogram bag. Now I'm going to put in a, a price here so I might say that's a $20 bag It's four cats. something like that as a description. Now there's other options I can I can pick here, but I'll leave everything at the moment. I'll pick uh, a an image. I've already got an image in the file manager for my meow mix, and I'm just going to trim this image. I'm just going to make it fit on the page a little nicer. We add here, and straight away we've got our product. We've got an add to cart button, and we've got our image. I might just change my button here just so it looks like the standard bootstrap button and I'm going to save it. 
okay so we've got a product we've got a checkout let's actually try and put through an order so I'm gonna hit add to cart we can see that our products been added there I'm gonna go through the order I'll try and do this quickly and we can see here that the cart appears over the top of our website so we can go through the entire process and there's our shipping there and in test mode it gives us a uh, example credit card we can place this order and it's all done there's our receipt and if we wait for an email we will get check my email we will get an, an order email that comes through here that says thank you for your order and there's uh, there's my logo and that sort of thing that I've already put in to Snipcart so that's it we've got a working shop and from here if we actually wanted to go live we, we only have a few things to do one thing is we would need to uh, add an SSL certificate to our website and run the site through that the other one is that we would need to go into the dashboard of Snipcart Put it over to live mode and in live mode we would need to go through and check all the same details so all of the the, um, the details the settings um, and make sure that that's been copied across we also need to go to the um, the billing side of things I think that's in um, general settings and ensure that we've gone through and we've actually filled in and picked the payment gateway that's it once we've done that we would go and get our um, live API key which would appear once all those other details are filled in would go to a site and we would go to Snipcart settings change the site over to live and put in the live key so that's it that's a fully working e-commerce shop that could take payments and process orders and the orders will appear in Snipcart's dashboard and we can have a look at that now we can see our our order and there it is there there's my Meow Mix one kilo bag so while I'm doing a video I'll talk about a couple of the other features that I've added I've really tried to exhaust all of the features that we can we can use in Snipcart now one of them might be that what if we wanted to supply different size bags of Meow Mix we might want a product option so what we can do is we can go to some custom fields here and we might say uh, bag size under bag size we're gonna have a list of options and one of the options might be the one kilogram bag and we'll not adjust the price for that one but for two kilogram bag let's let's add another ten dollars on and we'll hit save we can also um, adjust a uh, whole range of different things to do with the way that the block is outputting information so at the moment I've enabled a light box so if we actually have a look at this and save this this block this is actually automatically light boxing so we've actually got some quite sophisticated features straight away we can also edit the cart itself if we wanted to do things like only show the cart when there's items in the cart we can do that So there we go so it's hidden by default but let's add our meow mix to the cart and we'll see we've got meow mix but we've actually got our options here and I can continue shopping but our checkout button has appeared and we can get rid of that and it will disappear so let's add that back in now if I pick two kilograms and I go through I can see my prices change so we've got those options as well on the back end side of things we've got the ability to manage stock levels so we can enable stock tracking and there's some instructions for this but basically we can um, set up a limited number of a product and this will prevent ordering more of that uh, too much of that product it will make that product basically say it's unavailable once it's exhausted its stock level we can also add custom fields to an order so it might be um, do you want gift wrapping uh, across all of your products or it might be accepting some terms and conditions 
And finally, nearly all of the Snipcart's cart itself can be styled with some CSS overrides. Um, things like buttons on the icons. We can even um, change some of the text for the Snipcart cart itself. So all of the text that appears on Snipcart, all of these things here, these can be can be customized. So that's it. So I've tried to create an add-on that is on the one hand very very straightforward for Concrete 5 novices. That make that's an excellent platform with Concrete 5 providing all of the CMS functionality, but Snipcart taking away all the complexities of managing e-commerce. But then for those that are more advanced developers, the product block and the checkout block are very easy to um, override and customize and very very basic styling so that could fit into any theme and then on top of that we've got some easy ways to override via the, the interface all of the text and all of the styling of Snipcart. So there it is. If there's any questions please feel free to contact me and I'm quite happy to answer them. Cheers.